What's the military connection? I was in the military 22 and a half years. 22 and a half? Yep, and my husband's in the military also. And my father-in-law is, is in the military. Because they, they put the flag over you? They show me a uniform? You were actually in the military for 22 years. God bless you. There's a salute here. God yeah. bless you. And I... You, if you worry about your husband, honey, don't worry about him. Don't worry about your... This is a lady belonging to your husband. It's in the military. She says no harm will come to him. He's going to be okay. She likes him. Okay? And then... Hold on. How are you connected? It's my daughter. Is your mother passed away? Okay, she's here. All right. I'm sorry. Aww. Uh, your wife is here, sir. Uh, you, you love her so much. And I have to say that she blesses you today. And you prayed for her to come through. And you thought about her on Mother's Day. She says, we, cre <laughs> she says, um, we created something so beautiful, didn't we? You know, and this has to do with Mary Beth. It has to do with family. Um, there's not a day that goes by that, that she doesn't blow you a kiss for some unknown reason. And I see X's and O's. You know how when you send cards to somebody? So she has a box of cards. And, and when she opens them, there's, oh, I'm getting chills, X's and O's. And I have to say that she's blowing kisses and hugging both of you. She's thanking you, um, sweetheart, for taking care of Dad. Mm -hmm. because it's, it was a long-term relationship. This is what she's telling me. And he, he needed her at times when he, and, and I don't mean to use you in the third plural, whatever you go. What, what am I trying to say? Person, this? third person. Third person. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when you needed things, she was there right for you, your wife. And I do have to say she's still right on your right side, by your right side. And you have said, I feel like my arm's been cut off or I feel like part of me has been cut out because she says she's acknowledging that, that she's, she's still your right arm. She's still right there for you, okay? And you have a lot of strong will, oh, Mary Beth, not just to serve in the military, but, but to step forward and make a difference in people's lives, in, in, in everyone's life. And she says, thank heavens for her, mm. all right? Do you understand? Mm. Mm -hmm. And also, I have to say, I have a mother figure for you, too, coming in. So, slow down, everybody. Oh, I've got to get moving here. Um, your wife opens the door for your mother to come through, which would be her mother-in-law, mm -hmm. then. Your, your mother is such a sweet lady, and she says, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. I don't feel your wife has been gone a real, real long time. I feel like it was fairly recent. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, you almost think she's still with you. Like you're walking and you, you slow down. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> your mother's telling me, and so is your wife, that you'll be walking. And then you look around for your wife. Like, where is she? Mm -hmm. Did you have to ever carry her pocketbook, your wife? Or did you, was she like putting it down and you had to pick it up? Uh, I'm going to go to you, sweetie. He's overwhelmed. Do you understand? She yeah. has a pocketbook. What's he, that about? Um, he was a, a major caregiver for my mom. She was in a wheelchair. Yeah. And he would always pick up the, pick po up the yes. pocketbook. Yes, yes. Help her out. Because I, I need to say she's dancing in heaven. She has her pocketbook with her. You don't need to keep picking it up and putting it down. Isn't that something? God bless. Isn't that beautiful? And she's so happy, happy, happy that both of you came, I do have to say. The bond of love will never be broken, but no, she's happy. She's in a better place. It's a place of light. It's a place of beauty. And I do have to say she's honored that you came to hear from her today. And also your mother says, well, now don't forget me. Don't forget me. Your mom had a mind of her own, didn't she? she? I mean, she was really something else. So as I'm walking by, I just had to stop. Was she in any pain at the latter parts? I'm getting so uh, leaving fairly quickly. I am getting some, some leg trauma, of course, because I feel that. But I also feel that they came for her. When I say they, the family unit was there. When I was at her bedside, my dad was there constantly, too. But towards the latter part, I did feel like a hand on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. And I turned around, and there was no one there. It's your mama. So when my mom was getting ready to leave, yes. she and her kinda, mother kind of said, hey, it's time. Yes, and also his mother. Do you understand? So, like, your, this is hard. Your grandmother, mm -hmm. his mother, was there also. And... So I'm getting two grandmoms saying hello, and the soul was actually leaving almost before the last breath. 
because I'm on the ceiling looking down. You understand? Mm -hmm. And did her bed go up and down too, or no? Well, she was at the hospital. Yeah, because I want to prop myself up. I just feel like I have to prop myself up. So just know she loves you. She's not in pain. God bless you. God and bless you. Can he you. move on? Can he? Is it okay for him to move on? Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. You you have long life, sir. And, and just my heart goes out to you. No, you do have long life. Don't worry about your health. Just take it one day at a time, one step at a time. And then. I have a dad saying November. I don't know if Thanksgiving means anything here to anybody uh, or not. Well, that's, my birthday is November 28th. Sometimes it does fall on Thanksgiving. Okay. And then I'm back here again. <laughs> so it could be a father-in-law, a grandpa, just saying hello. Okay? Isn't that interesting? So God bless you. Oh, thank you so much. I know it hasn't been long. Thank you.